Hey everyone, and welcome back to Amori. I um, want to thank you for for all the sympathy I could feel. I could feel from you vibing through the screens at my at my trauma last time. It was definitely a, a challenging experience fighting off a literal horde of bears. Depleted most of our uh, supplies, killed us countless times, but somehow, some way, we got through it. And um, I'm proud. I'm proud of the team, proud of the squad, and I feel like I learned a lot. And so as a result, I took some time to kind of look through the abilities and change a few things up based on kind of the lessons learned from that fight. So for instance, Kel, uh, I switched out one of his abilities for the Juice Me. Uh, heals a lot of juice to a friend, but also hurts the friend. Because we have so much healing in our party, I'm not too worried about that. And uh, not having a way to restore juice was kind of hurting us there towards the end. So, added that to him. Uh, Amori, uh, I kept the same. His hack away was actually really clutch. I was very glad that um, that we had it. And uh, I realized afterwards that I could have probably used this more. The deals damage of foes angry greatly reduces attack. Um, because the bear was, you know, enraged most of the time, I, that probably would have been better to use. So I'll have to remember to use that more in the future. Um, for Aubrey, uh, I haven't really uh, changed anything except for power hits, uh, attack that ignores the foe's defense and then reduces defense. That's something I hadn't realized that uh, she had had. Uh, again, we, we get so many skills and uh, items so quickly, it's easy to kind of lose track. So I swapped that out to give that her uh, a chance to use that. And then for Hero, I added, again, some ability for him to give juice to everybody. I kind of scoffed at this this tea time ability when we initially got it. But, uh, you know, fighting 10 to 12 bears tends, tends to put things in perspective. So, I've got this now. Um, I don't know what some means. Hopefully it's like 50% uh, or, or whatever the case may be. But between Hero and Kel, I wanted an ability to restore uh, juice to the party and not just health. So, with that... Um, Let's go ahead and uh, and make our way out. And um, I think my my priority here is to actually backtrack a little bit. I don't know if that's possible, but uh, I want to make sure we get the opportunity to uh, to save here. And I know exactly where a save spot is. At least I think I remember. Hopefully, this is the kitchen section. But uh, we're going to go up here real quick, and we're going to uh, we're gonna get topped off, first of all. So, full health and juice, and uh, we're also going to go ahead and save here. Okay, so we're actually in somewhat better shape now, believe it or not. Um... And gosh, after after last episode, I feel like we could take on the world. Like, how bad could Sweetheart be at this point, you know? Um, oh, that's annoying. Alright, let's just get out of here. Um, so, yeah. We are going to go ahead and finish exploring the garden and um, clearing, clearing out whatever kind of um, unknown, uh, you know, opportunities there might be. Now, I have to. We probably are gonna have to redestroy the statues, I would guess. Not 100% sure. So we came from this trapdoor, right? I should know that. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case or not. I think that is. And, uh, let's just go down there. Are the bears back again? Do they respawn? Yeah, they do respawn. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's stay clear of that. At literally all cost. Alright. So we've got those spikes down. Let's go ahead and grab our our well-earned uh, watermelon. Start restoring some of our uh, consumables again. So there we go. Did we already talk to you? Oh gosh, that was that was careless. You got me, game. All right, get that out of here. I don't know how important it is for us to talk to them, but. Helen the Calamitous. Uh, hi? I'm like, super busy standing here being one of the Calamitous elite and all. Can I like, help you with something? No. Uh, I think we've had quite enough conversation. Just keep doing your thing. We have not checked out the stuff here in the middle. I don't know if there is anything to see. What do we have here? Do we have, have tea with your friends? 
Oh, how nice. And look, Audrey's even got a, uh, a new hat. That's lovely. Okay. We had tea, but it didn't even restore our health, so... What's the point? An impressive statue. Yes, it is quite... Uh-oh. What? What's the password? Magical. Flaming. Romantic. Beautiful. I don't know what the password is. Never mind. Can we get out of here? Nope. Ouch, how much do we health? Okay. <laughs> Took a little bit of a health hit there. I, I do remember one of the guards talking about a password. Let's talk to this horse boy. What's your deal? Boy. Oh, never mind. You were actually, uh... Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I didn't realize that, they, that the horse, horse boy was one of the guards. Alright, let's leave that alone. So where are we at? Have we been down here yet? I don't recall. Oh, yes we have. My bad. Okay. So we've gone up here. Um, oops, let's steer clear of those dudes. We've gone down there. Um, I feel like we've seen just about all that there is to see, to be quite honest. It's been a while, so I don't, uh, I don't exactly recall. I guess we have to figure out what the password is, huh? So where was the guard who was, who was talking about what the password is, and is there a way to, um, to convince him to talk? So I feel like that, uh, that is a hint for us. I want to say maybe it's, uh, this guard who was talking about a password? Let's check. Four passwords that must be spoken. The third of the four. You want to know the password? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. You really need it? Like you really, really need it? Like you really, really, really need it? Like you really, 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 really need it? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I have no choice then. But you have to promise not to tell anyone. I promise I would not tell a soul. Yes, I absolutely. The pinky swears the most solemn, sacred... ...swear out there. Alright. I was worried you might have been someone untrustworthy. Not me. Leaning closer. The password I have been entrusted with is... Filled. Okay, I am actually gonna take a quick note here. So I'm gonna make a little list. One, two, three, four. I'm writing this down as we speak. So he said this was the third one. So this one is filled. Okay. Alright, I promise. Alright, so um, I guess, and this is something else that, uh, that, uh, that one of you guys have told me, is that sometimes triggering dialogue multiple times with a an individual will give different dialogue options each time. Uh, and so that evidently is very true here. There are four passwords. Yes, yes. Yep. The first of the four. Okay, lay it on me. It's a beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Ah, you were saying you would like to know of the password. I apologize. I'm afraid that is not in my jurisdiction. Though... I suppose something tasty off-white and cubish may change my mind. Well, we've got a buttload of tofu, so... Yes, please. Take it. Oh. Hmm. Delicious, irresistible tofu. I suppose I could let it slip just this once. Now, leaning closer, the password that I have been entrusted with is... Sweet. Alright. So, first one is sweet, third one is filled. Got it. Yes, I promise. Didn't make us pinky swear. Surprising. You would think you'd want the password to be, uh, you know, secured with the most, the most sacred of vows. All right, let's go find this dude, Brian the Distinguished. Yes, yes. Tell, just tell me the second of the four. I do want to know. Not so fast, there, buddy. I gotta say, you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know if you really are one of us highly intelligent, majestic creatures? Uh, I don't know. Ask me a Snapple fact. I'll tell you anything. 
<laughs> don't make me laugh. If you're so sure you're a sprout mold, why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password. If you can guess what I'm thinking about right now. Probably tofu. Odds are good. Oh, mmm. Delicious tofu. I apologize for ever doubting you. I guess there are all kinds of sprout moles out there. You got that right. Leaning closer. The password I've been entrusted with is... Jelly. Alright, that's the second one. So it's sweet jelly filled... something. Alright, um... Who have we not talked to yet? I want to say it's bottom left. Memory serves. Oh, get out of the way. Thank you. Uh, alright. Right? Oh no, we just did we just did bottom left. We did top right, so it's bottom right now. I think. I keep forgetting you can't go that way. Alright, there's Mr. Wizard Dude. Let's just avoid him if we can help it. Oh. Alright. Bottom right. Here we go. Helen the Calamitous. There are four passwords that must be spoken to the sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fourth of the four. But, ugh, I'm supposed to hold on to this super secret password and everything, right? But, like, it's about food, so now I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry that I've started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? They should really start providing food to the guards around here. And, like, what kind of password is Donut, anyway? As in, like, that stupid pet name that weird blue guy always called Sweetheart or something? Police! That's no secret at all. Anyone could guess that. They were always walking around here and acting all coupley, calling each other names like that back and forth. Saying things like, Why won't you ask me to marry you yet? And, I'm sorry, my friends don't approve of this relationship. All the time. Ugh, so annoying. But, whatever. I'm still stuck here guarding the passwords with those three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their lives. <laughs> That's right, pity me if you want, see if I care. Here I am, trapped in this lonely little corner in the garden, guarding the word donut, of all things. Jeez Louise. Sweet jelly-filled donut, it is. I am actually extremely anti-jelly-filled donuts. Just not a big jelly guy, so... I can't say that really tempts me much. So, um, with that, I think we're ready to jump in. Let's do it. Alright, hit me. Not literally, you already did that once, so I'm, I've lost a little bit of health. Sweet. Jelly. Filled. Donut. Yes, that's correct. Hm. Fine. Just do your job, statue. That's all I ask. All right, good for us. Um, maybe we should heal real quick before we go in. So, hero, why don't you um do? 40%. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted you to actually use it. No, no, no. Oh no, what happened? Switch with fast food. Um, I'm blanking. I thought that there was some way that we could u actually use this Oh, maybe it's only the can be used outside of battle ones. I bet you you're right. I bet you that's right. Okay. Alright, a little bit of a waste, but whatever. Here we go. Alright. Um, oh yeah, Aubrey is the, the pot smasher. Let's go ahead and get our rightful money. The nice thing is that uh, money has been like the one thing that has been incredibly easy to find this whole time. Two of fifty, very nice. Um, so whenever we find a merchant, it will be um, we'll be able to go on a spending spree. And now we've got a pretty good idea of what uh, what's worth buying. 
All right, I'm just going to smash these, smash these uh, pots real quick. And then we'll go back and look at the presents in a quick second. All right. So what do we have here? Unopened presents littered across the floor. I don't suppose we can use any. What is going on? Dear sweetheart, I love you so much. Let us have kids and spend the rest of our lives together. I would like that very much. Thank you. Fan mail, I guess. Buckets of paint. Is there not a way to move it and get in that enticing secret tunnel over there? I guess not. All right, what the heck is making all that noise? Oh, yes, here we go. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, what do we have here? Jacks. Let's buy a few of those. Um, they're cheap. Let's get maybe four of them. Okay. Good stuff. Um, yeah, we used up all of our life jam, didn't we? So getting some of that might be helpful. Heals 80 heart, 50% of juice, 40 juice to all friends. All right, let's get some life jams. Let's get, I don't know, four. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, and you know what? We can also sell some stuff as well. 40 juice to all friends. That's pretty helpful. We'll grab maybe five of those. And um, maybe a couple sodas. Yep, that's fine. Um, let's attack again. Or not attack. Let's converse again and maybe sell some stuff. Tofu, we, I guess we should hang on to the tofu while we're still in Sprout Mole area, huh? All right, uh, everything is pretty helpful. Let's hang on to all of that. Present air horn. Oh, the pearl. There we go. We can sell that. Yep. And I think that's all we want to sell. I mean, we've got these emotion things. I guess we're just going to hang on to them for the time being. You never know when they might be useful. Eat some pickles, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, isn't that convenient? It didn't. It hasn't always worked like that before. It makes me nervous though, because um, they are—they're really making uh, making time to heal us. Oh, is this the teddy bear? Huh? Hang on. Oh, we can't interact with it though. Hold up. Maybe we need to switch to Amori. Yeah. No, we can't pick it up. I thought that there was a missing teddy bear that we were supposed to to return. And I assume it's not like a literal bear like this. I don't know. How do I get over to you? Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I thought we were just gonna converse like, like decent people. Okay. Well, we do have uh, those pickles over there that are gonna restore our health, so... So, like, whatever, dude. Uh, why don't we actually use one of these? Deals damage if foe's angry, greatly reduces its attack. There we go. Attack. Annoy. Massage. There we go. Hundred and one. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Pretty decent. All right, let's go and attack again if we can. All right, where are we at now? Um, 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 um. Yeah, just attack, basic attack. Running gun. Uh, heal up. Aubrey, there we go. We are, we are bear slaying pros by now, so not too worried about this one. Man, it's it's clutch having Aubrey up and about now. She puts out some serious hits. All right, we'll use mock. Attack, attack. Ah, uh, sure, massage. Why not? If we even get to that point, but which we probably won't. Boo. Boo on you, bear. Can't go any lower. Okay. Good for us. Hey. Level 15, level 16, and learned homemade jam. What? 
Okay, let's go check that out. Oh, this is a teddy bear. Well, how do you like that? How do you like that? Very good. Pickles. Yep, let's top ourselves off. So, what is this homemade jam of which you speak? I am intrigued. Um... Brings back a friend that is toast. Oh! Which would mean that that really renders the life jam kind of obsolete, right? I mean, it is pricey, but... Wow. I guess we're going to have to switch with tea time and just rely on Kel for restoring juice, because... I mean, that is huge, to not have to rely on life jam anymore. We need massage, we use that all the time. Fast food is very helpful, as is cook. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to roll with, but, I mean, good good stuff overall. There's another bear, but that's not the right bear, apparently. Um, Alright, Aubrey, get in here and smash ye old pot. I see a picnic basket down at the bottom of the screen, which is good. I have lavoed you since te first moment I laid my eyes on you. Plaz be mine, Fiover. Okay. Yep, that sound that sounds like uh, your your classic uh, internet love letter. Lovely sweet heart, you are my love. Please visit my home. It is ready for you. Beautiful. All right. Um, I guess we should go ahead and we are topped off health wise. There's Mari's biscuit bat. Uh, Picnic basket with her Mari herself nowhere to be found. So, with that, let's head on up. We finally made our way out. What's with all these decorations? Looks like someone's about to get married. Uh-oh, the show's about to start. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's... Better get out of Dodge. Oh, this guy again. Welcome all, welcome all. Today is a most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, it is now time to air our final episode. It has been a splendiferous run. Thank you all for your viewership. For as long as we have been on air, we have rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved Sweetheart. And each time, Regretfully, Sweetheart was unable to find her one true love. But this time, we believe that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. The final episode begins now! Let us commence the wedding. Please welcome to the aisle, Sweetheart's perfect suitor. Sit. Herself? Yes, it's true. Now you've seen everything. The answer has been obvious all along. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart... ...is Sweetheart herself! Oh, brother. Yeah, well, you know, they say self-love is a good thing, right? Great, great. Good job. Silence! 
<clears throat> Let us begin the ceremony. Well, the choir sounds pretty good. I mean, we did train them ourselves, didn't we? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Oh dear. Kel, don't you dare. It is lame, but... Shush. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Hmm. I don't know. She seems pretty sociopathic. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. In that case, by the power vested in me, I announce pronounce. I, <clears throat> I now pronounce you, sweetheart, and sweetheart. You may now kiss the. I object. Stop this wedding immediately. Oh, is it Captain Space Boy? Uh, uh nope. Don't do this, sweetheart. This wedding is a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it way too far. Not you again. How dare you step foot back in here. Guards? Guards? Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? She's goes to send us to the dungeon again. Hm. You understand nothing, random hero fan. I was a young princess once. I too once thought there was someone for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm going to love from now on is myself. Now guards, seize her! Um, hero, I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me, you don't have to do this. Wh what's this? C could it be? Hero, my hero has come for me. Oh boy. Oh my sweet hero. I knew you wouldn't leave me alone like this. How you would sway me with your words. Although it may be over between us, my heart has not yet forgotten you. I will give you one last chance. Marry me, hero. Here and now. Do so and I will let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that. That's crazy. Uh-oh. What's this? You reject me. Again? But how could this be? I don't understand. Oh. 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 Uh-oh. Now you've done it. Ah, uh, yes. I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion. But it seems you are jealous of me, just like everyone else. Yes, that must be it. My dazzling looks, my charming smile, my gregarious personality. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well... There is no need to despair anymore. I will end your suffering... personally. Farewell, miserable peons. I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever.